Hello my beautiful YouTube family, I missed you guys again and today what we're going to do guys, we're going to try this um, chicken and vegetable pie from Elmsbury. Alright, it's from Aldi again, uh, I've had this one sitting in the freezer uh, for a while, I bought it uh, a few weeks ago and I uh, thought you know what, we haven't tried this one so we might as well give this one a go as well. Alright, so I've got them in the, um, in the air fryer again. Just to speed up the process, what I've done guys, I've defrosted them in the microwave for about two minutes. Mine's a, a pretty uh, a strong microwave, so two minutes was enough. And then I've put it um, into my air fryer at 160 degrees for about approximately four to five minutes. Just depends, uh, but you just got to check with the air fryers because every air fryer is different. So make sure you check so you don't burn it. I'm just going to have a quick check guys and then we're going to have a bit of a read through. Oh yeah, here we go. That's what this done to look like guys. I think I might give it another minute. <clears throat> that's nearly out of time anyway and we'll have a bit of a read. Alright. So that's what they look like guys. That one's really chicken and vegetable pies. There's four in a pack. That's what they look like when they're like not cooked. And I think these were on special guys for $3 for a pack of four. So they're made in Australia and uh, tasty chicken pieces cooked with vegetable encased in delicious flaky pastry. <clears throat> now we've tried a few of these other ones before and they turned out pretty good so I'm not sure how the chicken and vegetable pie is going to turn out. I haven't tried this before. So no artificial colours, no preserves, excellent source of dietary fibre, good source of protein. I'm going to turn that off now. That's a little bit quiet, that's better. Alright, let's have a bit of a read. Sorry about the crackling noise. Directions for use must be cooked before consumption. 20 to 35 minutes. Preheat oven to 180 degrees. Fan force to 170 degrees. Remove pies from packaging and place into baking tray. If frozen, heat approximately 30 to 35 minutes. If thawed, heat for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. Remove pies from oven and allow to stand for two minutes before serving. Alright. <clears throat> Remove the pies from packaging. This is if you do in the microwave. Uh, wrap in absorbent paper, leaving ends of paper open. Place into microwave towards the outer edge of the turntable. Select medium to high PO. Frozen heat pies approximately three and a half minutes. If thawed heat pies for approximately two minutes. Allow two and a half minutes to sit. All right. <clears throat> now, to thaw, keep pies in the refrigerator overnight. Appliances very please adjust cooking time if necessary, just like what I said. Alright guys, so this is made in Australia from at least 89% Australian ingredients. Ingredients are water, wheat flour, chicken pieces, 20% margarine, uh, animal fat, vegetable oil, water, salt, emulsifiers, soy antioxidants from soy, natural flavour, acid regulated, natural colour, vegetable, 8% carrots, peas, thickener, full cream milk powder, texture of vegetable protein. <clears throat> contains milk, wheat, gluten, flour enhancers. Contains 45% pastry, 20% chicken and 8% vegetables. Contributes to the production of sustainable palm oil. Alright, uh, energy per serve. 13.8, uh, sorry, 1560 kilojoules, 376 calories per serving. Proteins about 13.8 grams. Fat total 16.3 grams, saturated 7.9 grams, carbohydrates 39.4 grams, sugars are 3.5 grams, dietary fiber 7.9, and sodium is 585 milligrams. Alright, so there's our product, guys, from Elmsbury. Alright, and I think this is the last lot of the Elmsbury pies. I think I've tried everything else, unless they bring out a new product. So let's pull our pies out. <coughs> Well, that's what. All right, I pulled out my Christmas, whatever you call it, thing to um, hold the pie. But um, I didn't need to, or I forgot and I burnt my hand. Anyway, that's all good. So that's what they look like up front, guys, before we cut into them. So they look nice. All right, let's cut into one of these and we'll see what it looks like and where we'll be tasted. We'll start off with this nice crispy one because I like crispy. I think I cooked it too much. I'm going to need a hacksaw. Oh, that's hot. Alright, finally. Mmm, you can see. Oh, that's nice. 
You can see that nice, beautiful oozy chicken. I'll give you guys another close up. That's what they look like inside, guys. You can see that beautiful steam, the nice, beautiful pastry. All right, I think we should have a bit of a taste test, guys. Now, this is breakfast uh, because I haven't had breakfast yet and it's cold outside. And unfortunately, uh, even though in the Sunshine Coast, where we are, even if it's 20 degrees, this is cold for us guys. So don't look at me, I'm wearing a singlet because I'm inside, but the outside is actually cold and windy and I've got to go out soon. All right, so I just thought I'd do one of these and we'll see how we go. All right, drop the piece of chicken there. <clears throat> Let's grab that. Looks nice. Get a carrot, peas, chicken. Smells nice. Alright, let's have a bit of a taste test, guys, and see how we go. Hopefully, this one will turn out just as good. Mmm. That's, that's actually got a really nice flavour, guys. I'm not much into chicken pies, but that's got a lot of good flavour, I'm telling you. I'm really surprised, actually. For a, a low budget pie. That's got real good, nice taste and flavour, and the chickens are nice and little chunky bits with nice peas and carrots. Mmm, that is really nice. Alright, I'm just going to have another taste inside, I'll just show you what it looks like guys, there's the carrots and everything. The reason why I had three tastes is I just wanted to make sure I get in there and I make sure there's like uh, grisly bits or or bad bits in there because sometimes you know how we do the taste test and at the end something turns out bad and then I just got to delete the video because I don't like um, doing videos if something's not good. I'd rather just get rid of it. I'd rather promote good products so people can go and buy them. All right, so that was really nice. So let's try the pastry. I'm just going to break it, guys, because that's really hot. And I don't want to burn my mouth. That's what the pastry looks like. Mmm. Mmm. Good. I'm just going to try the top bit by itself. The lid. I made this one extra crunchy. So that's what it looks like, a little bit extra crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. These are really, really nice. That inside, the filling is beautiful. Alright. The chicken's beautiful. The peas are beautiful, the carrots nice inside, the flavour of the sauce inside the pie is absolutely outstanding. I'm really surprised guys. The pastry is really nice and crispy. The good thing I like about the pastry is that it's not too salty, it's not overpowering. So when you eat inside the pie with the pastry, it actually blends in. And you know what, you don't need any sauce with this. Uh, Elmsbury, I'm telling you, uh, look, I usually like my beef pies or slow cooked pies or whatever, curry pies. But chicken pies, I'm not into, and I'm going to be really honest about this one. I recommend this one, guys, and I'm actually going to give this one 9.5 out of 10. I reckon they did a good effort. They did a good job and put a lot of effort into the flavouring in this one. So there you go, um, Elmsbury, thumbs up to you guys. Cheers, thank you very much. This was my last uh, pie taste test. All of the pies have been great, but this is probably one of the best out of the lot so far. And I really appreciate it. And thank you very much for everyone for watching, guys. And thank you to all the new subscribers. I love your comments. Your comments are absolutely amazing. You're such beautiful people out there. It doesn't matter where you're from. I love you all and um, please stay safe and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Please go into uh, my subscriptions, the subscri subscribers where I follow as well. Please go and click and watch their channels and subscribe to their channels too guys. There's a lot of lovely people and um, 
and there's a lot of talented people out there, I'm telling you, so make sure you go, you watch, and be part of our family. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy the rest of this pie. I love you all, okay? Take care. Bye.